Tonight, a Yakima County Sheriff's deputy is in the hospital shot trying to help someone escape alleged domestic violence. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the case and the options available for people in similar situations. Plus, a new system being rolled out by the state patrol will show you what happens if there is a hit and run investigation. And we're taking a look outside. Some haze starting to move into the area. We're tracking air quality and temperatures in the mid 90s around most of the region. Stacey Lee will join us live with a look at what to expect this evening. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin with developing news from our nation's capital. A federal grand jury has indicted former President Trump on charges related to what happened on January 6th. Trump spoke to a crowd outside the Capitol on January 6th as lawmakers were preparing to certify the 2020 election results. A crowd later stormed the Capitol, injuring law enforcement officers and leaving damage behind. Now, just hours ago, the grand jury decided to charge Trump with conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. Trump has been ordered to appear in court on Thursday. Today is Washington's primary election and the last day to get your ballots in if you haven't done that already. In Yakima County, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us the voter turnout isn't what election officials were hoping for. I spoke to Yakima County Auditor Charles Ross, who says voter turnout is really low this year, even for a primary in an odd numbered election year. The auditor's office had projected they'd be getting back 20 to 25 percent voter turnout, which is average. But as of Tuesday morning, they're only at 13 and a half percent. The auditor says, well, they keep making it easier and easier to vote in the state of Washington with same day voter registration, mail in ballots, easy access to ballot boxes across the county and voting possible up until the 8 p.m. deadline on election day, they're still seeing fewer and fewer people turning out. The brutal fact is to a voter, I mean, the only way you're not participating is because you don't want to. I've had voters tell me, hey, it feels like my vote doesn't matter. But remember, a lot of these races are so close and there's so few ballots that a family in some of these small towns, if they forget to turn their ballots and they may have you know, made the difference. If you're voting at the last minute, make sure to grab your ballot and take it to one of the county's several ballot drop boxes and make sure you get it in by 8 p.m. That way your vote will be sure to count. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Emily. Well, it's also National Night Out, and let's talk about your forecast. Stacey Lee joins us from Richland with a look at what's going on this evening. Hi, Stacey. And yes, it is National Night Out, and it is a beauty of a night down here. Absolutely gorgeous weather uh, this evening. This is a fun, family-friendly event. There's food vendors, there's games for kids, and I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's some bikes. They're doing a giveaway. Kids, come on down, grab a passport, make your way around. You get to see fire trucks, meet police officers, and just get involved in the community. And like I said, the weather is perfect. Let's take a look at current temperatures around the area right now. Again, those temps are looking great out there 80s and 90s a lot of shade down here at Howard Amon Park those winds are nice and light this evening as attention, well attention, uh, here's what's Walk coming out. up for the next couple of days out. look for clear and cool please. conditions tonight we do have a bit of smoke and haze on. in the air it is impacting the air quality slightly this evening uh, we're looking at a really hot day for August 2nd tomorrow and we're tracking some thunderstorms toward the end of the week. So we'll get around more here at uh, National Night Out. It's down here at Howard Amon Park till 730 tonight. Talk to you soon. Alyssa, back to you. Thanks, Stacy. A Yakima County Sheriff's deputy was shot early this morning during a domestic violence call out in Autanum. Authorities say it happened just after 1 o'clock this morning on South Fork Road, where they believe a woman was attempting to leave an abusive relationship. Authorities say a 34-year-old man shot at the deputies who were trying to help the woman. They hit a 51-year-old deputy three times. That deputy was taken to a Yakima hospital. He's being treated for his injuries. They are not considered life-threatening at this time. The suspect was arrested and booked into the Yakima County Jail. Washington State Patrol has released a new alert system that works similarly to Amber Alerts, but this is for hit and run car crashes. Troopers tell us they're hoping it will help track down those suspects faster. This will be a, a process that's much more immediate. It's not a press release that's written hours later or days later. It's, a, it's a, an alert that goes out as quickly as possible within minutes, hopefully. 
and it gets the public's eyes on a car before it can be repainted or fixed or moved to a different state or ditched or, or hidden. This alert system was authorized by the state legislation earlier this year, went into effect today. It sends an alert to your phone saying the type of vehicle involved, the make and model, or possibly where the vehicle was last seen heading. Tonight, four months almost to the day after a deadly mass shooting at a small Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee, police say they thwarted a suspected shooting attempt at a Jewish school in Memphis. ABC's Rena Roy has a look at what investigators say happened. Memphis police say a potential mass shooting was averted Monday at the city's only Orthodox Jewish school, saying this man armed with a handgun tried to get inside Margolin Hebrew Academy. We need officers to go to every Jewish facility in the city of Memphis with that broadcast and description in case he tries another facility. This surveillance image shows the suspect with his weapon inside the pre-entrance of the school, but he was unable to get past the next set of locked doors. Thankfully that school had a great safety procedure and process in place and avoided anyone being harmed or injured at that scene. Instead, police say he fired his gun outside, but no one was hurt. When he could not gain entry, he fired shots outside the school. School staff calling 911, the suspect driving off, police on the hunt for his maroon pickup truck. Four-door version, so the big king cab. More maroon than red, out-of-state tags. Officers say they spotted his car and pulled him over. They said the suspect got out of the truck allegedly holding that handgun. Officers then opened fire. The suspect taken to the hospital in critical condition. Today is a great example of very alert, vigilant officers trying to protect the city. I personally truly believe that we have avoided a tragedy. A source tells ABC News that preliminary information confirms the shooter had attended the school and suggests the attack was targeted toward an official of the school or congregation and not motivated by hate. Investigators don't believe the suspect was looking to attack other Jewish facilities in the community. Detectives now digging into his writings and psychiatric history. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. More beds, more funding, and more health care professionals. That's what community leaders in eastern Washington say they need to fight the fentanyl epidemic. This week, Washington Senator Maria Cantwell visited Spokane to learn from people who have experienced fentanyl addiction themselves and from people who are on the front lines trying to help. A very unique thing that we heard today is about the actual health care workers that are also needed. And is there some way to help streamline the system so that you could get people who are very qualified to help deal with this crisis? It was just really amazing that, that they're looking at it because we don't have enough beds. There's not enough detox centers in Spokane County, especially like there's a couple of them, but they're private pay. It's like who who's homeless on the street that can, you know, afford private pay. Now, the Senate has added sections to the National Defense Authorization Act that Senator Cantwell says would give the federal government more ability to fight fentanyl trafficking. But the House passed a different version. So now lawmakers have to hammer out a compromise before that bill can move forward. Summer break is almost over and back to school is coming up soon. Today, the Pasco Chamber of Commerce had their school supplies drive for students in need. If you're interested in making donations, the donation barrels are distributed among five locations. They're at the Red Lion Hotel, Grocery Outlet, Blue RV Compass, Spec Hyundai Tri-Cities, and the Pasco Chamber of Commerce. Those are all locations in Pasco. A list of the supplies needed are attached to each barrel, and there will also be Visa gift cards to help pay for school lunches. Their, their parents are struggling, everybody's struggling right now. So we decided to go grab some barrels and place them at five different locations and see what we can do to help the school district. Officials say this drive is important to them as they understand how expensive supplies can be. It's the first year this idea launched, but they're hoping that it will continue on in the future. Well, it is August 1st and UPS packages are still being delivered. UPS came to a tentative agreement with the Teamsters Union last week to keep drivers on the road. The deal includes a pay raise and some changes to their working conditions like getting AC and more delivery trucks. Voting on the new contract is expected to start later this week and it's expected to continue for most of the month. CVS Health says it's cutting around 5,000 jobs, although the company says customers shouldn't really notice a change.
CVS says these layoffs are non-customer facing positions and company officials say they're trying to refocus around care delivery and technology, but they have to cut costs in the process. Meanwhile, Bed Bath & Beyond is back from the great beyond, sort of. Don't expect to stroll through a store anytime soon. Overstock.com bought the brand name back in June. This morning, they relaunched their website as bedbathandbeyond.com. Now, Overstock.com started in the late 90s as a liquidation website, but the CEO says they left that business plan behind a long time ago, and they're hoping the new name will help cut down on confusion. New numbers released this morning show fewer jobs available, 9.6 million to be exact, which is the lowest we've seen in more than two years. It means that there are three jobs open for every unemployed worker in America. And officials are hoping as the job market slows and businesses don't need to keep raising wages in order to compete for workers, they're hoping they should also stop raising prices and that should help bring inflation down. Unemployment currently sitting at 3.6%, although we will get an update when July's numbers are released on Friday of this week. And amid that tight job market, the U.S. Labor Department is reporting an increase in illegal child labor. The department found more than 4,400 children were illegally employed between October 1, 2022 and July 20th of 2023. That is a 44% increase compared to the same period one year ago. Employers are citing a labor shortage, uh, but we really don't think that they should be balancing a labor shortage on the backs of teen workers. Officials say they found young teens and even children working illegally for meat processors and in fast food restaurants. The Department of Labor has issued more than $6 million in penalties so far. Well, switching gears here, let's take a look outside. It is a beautiful evening across our region. We are talking about some haze moving into the region, though. Stacey Lee is tracking that coming up in your first alert forecast. And still ahead on Apple Valley News Now at 5, we're talking wildfires, including this one burning across the border from Washington into British Columbia. That's next. What's better than super fresh fruits and vegetables? Yep, you've got it. Super fresh fruits and vegetables on sale. Swing into Super One Foods this Thursday and save big during our 12-hour produce sale. Dole Bananas, just 48 cents a pound. Washington Grown Seedless Watermelon, 38 cents a pound. And Whole Sweet Cantaloupe, 48 cents a pound. Super One Foods 12-hour produce sale this Thursday only. Hey, it's better than fresh. We wondered, where do people do their banking? So, we asked. I bank at Hapo. <laughs> Hapo's my bank. I've been a member of Hapo since I was 10 years old, 60 years. I bank at Hapo Community Credit Union. I'm with Hapo. You're not just a number there, you know, you're treated really well. I feel like they're part of my community. It's easy, it's convenient, and I don't know, I just love the people there. I guess the question we should be asking is, where do you credit union? Join Hapo Community Credit Union today. Hi, I'm Eddie Morphine from Morphine Law Firm. If you've been wronged and you need to make it right, give us a call. We're not afraid to fight. If you need an attorney with your best interests in mind, give us a call at Morphine Law Firm. What's up at DQ? That guy's going fry first on a $7 meal deal. Ooh, or is it dessert first? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. And he can't believe he got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. Can't believe I got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. That's a $7 meal deal, and that's what's up at DQ. Happy tastes good. David, did you remember to get me an anniversary present? Anniversary? Of course, it's Mattress Depot USA's anniversary, and we're having a gigantic sale. Take advantage of our best prices of the year. And interest-free financing. David, you do know anniversaries only come once a year, right? Yes, and if you miss ours, you'll, you'll be, be sorry. sorry. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. ET's inside the all-new Big Brother house. Bigger, better, wilder. Our exclusive tour with Julie Chen Moonbez revealing a franchise first. Uh-oh. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. 
Welcome back. A fast moving fire that started in northern Washington, then crossed the border into British Columbia over the weekend is still burning out of control tonight, and it's not the only one. Mike Valerio is tracking dangerous conditions for firefighters in two different regions. Furious flames scorching the earth, spewing thick, toxic smoke, creating an apocalyptic like landscape along the U.S. Canada border in Washington. You can actually feel the heat from it, you know, across the lake. And we also could hear the roar from the fire at, at one point, too, as it would hit the bigger clumps of trees. The raging flames of the Eagle Bluff fire threatening properties and triggering evacuations. The first priority is always human life and safety. It's impressive. It's scary, but it's it's fascinating to watch how fast it moves and then how you'll be watching it. And then about 100 meters ahead, uh, a spark will happen and another tree will go up and then the, the, the main bulk of the fire catches up to that. And it was moving so fast north. It's a similar situation on the California Nevada border. There's a haze, nothing you can't see ahead. I mean, you can't see the mountain. With people fleeing the flames of the York fire. We've got all of our animals that we could take with us. Some of them we had to turn loose, the cattle, you know, and the sheep. Forceful winds are fueling the fires. The extreme weather creating extremely dangerous conditions, spawning a vortex of flames and smoke. People's lives are, in, you know, at stake. The people fighting the fires. It's a hazard. Fire and wind is not made. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio. Trios Health and the American Red Cross are coming together tomorrow morning to host a blood drive. From 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the Trios Care Center in Southridge, people are invited to roll up your sleeves to give a life-saving donation. Now, the nation is facing a severe blood shortage and all blood types are needed. The ER supervisor with the Trios Care Center tells us the shortage has especially affected their team, which is why they're doing this blood drive earlier than usual. Approximately six weeks ago, we had one of our nurses here, her son was involved in a tragic accident. And he actually required over 40 units of blood um, to help with his survival. So over on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com, you can find the link to sign up for this blood drive. You do need to reserve a spot in advance and tomorrow you will need to bring your ID with you. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. That's right, and we're live at Howard Ama Park tonight for National Night Out, and with me is Gail Everett, City of Richland. Uh, good afternoon, Gail. Perfect weather for this Perfect. event. Perfect weather. It's beautiful. Tell us a little bit about what's going on at the park tonight. Well, there's so much to do and so much to see and so much to learn. We have a, it's a National Night Out. It's a celebration with our police officers, and we've made it bigger and better by combining fire and all the city services in Richland, That what we offer our public. And we invite everybody to come on down and learn more about what we do, what we offer, our services. If you have a question, now's a great time to find out your answer. We have council members here. We have the mayor. We have entertainment. Knudsen Brothers are here. We've got food vendors. We've got fun activities. We've Let's got talk about the swag bags and the bikes. What do they have to do to get that? And this is all free, by the way. Yes, free. Very free. Um, so kids 12 and under are invited to come on down and get what's called a city passport. Okay. And they put their name and age on it. And then they take it to all of the booths or 12 or less, um, 12 or more booths. And uh, then they get, um, get it, put it in a raffle, and they can win a brand new youth bicycle and helmet. We have 14 to give away today. Absolutely cool. All right, so again, get on down here. This event just began. Thank you, Gail. Thank and you. again, get down to Howard Amon Park. The event runs till 730, is yes, that right? Yes. Perfect, so come on down. Let's take a look at current temperatures around the area right now. Again, it is a beautiful night out there. We're looking at temperatures in the uh, 80s and 90s right now. And again, uh, that uh, weather is going to be nice. Satellite radar, we got a warm front moving in. It's going to be a hot day tomorrow. Get ready for that. Uh, winds are light tonight outside. And again, we're going to stay dry for the next couple of days. Now, we are seeing a little bit of smoke and haze in the air tonight. And unfortunately, that's going to be uh, with us through about midnight or so. And then we'll start to finally see that smoke and haze move on out of the area. Air quality is moderate, so it's okay. But if you are sensitive, you might want to stay indoors. But right now down here, I don't even smell any smoke this evening. 
let's take a look at our overnight lows tonight. We're looking at uh, 50s and 60s and uh, clear uh, everywhere else. Uh, tomorrow, again, we'll see sunny, hot with those uh, PM winds kicking up in Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Let's plan our day out for the next couple of days. Our Tri-Cities, hot day tomorrow for your um, August 2nd. Again, uh, slightly above seasonal uh, averages for us, and then we cool down slightly. In Yakima, we'll have hot, then a little bit cooler moving into towards the weekend. In Walla Walla, we have a hot, dry, with a slight chance of thunderstorms passing through the area through Friday. So, again, uh, weather-wise tonight, looking absolutely stunning. So, come on down here to National Night Out. Again, City of Richland, those kiddos. Well, they have a chance to grab a bike, some swag bags, there's food trucks. Plus, they can come check out the police department services and, of course, the firemen are down here as well. Love to see you down here till 7.30 tonight. It's National Night Out at Howard Avon. Stacey Lee live in Richland for Apple Valley News Now. Thanks, Stacey. And coming up next on Apple Valley News Now at 5, we are talking about a new list of the best places to retire. Washington is actually at the very bottom. The number one choice might surprise you. We're going to break down what the analysts were thinking coming up. Smoke City for less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. I remember when you get a whole meal for $5. <laughs> yeah, it was last Tuesday. Oh. And every Tuesday at AW, where single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. The good old days are here again. A complete meal for just five bucks. Tuesdays only at AW. When you or your loved one has been seriously injured, you want the best law firm on your side. Abeta Nelson Injury Law is the most highly awarded and experienced personal injury firm in Central Washington. Our office has secured the most million dollar car crash recoveries in Central Washington. You can trust us to have your back. The time for bringing your claim is limited, so don't wait. Call us today for a no obligation consultation. Abeta Nelson, we take your injury personally. Introducing Blue Compass RV, formerly Appleway RV. Same location, new adventures. Come celebrate and save during our grand opening sale with up to 50% off. The best prices of the year on America's favorite brands. Plus, get a one-year VIP membership to RV Complete, including 24-7, 365, technical and roadside assistance, and much more. Wherever you roam, we'll be there. And now, save up to 50% off at Blue Compass RV, formerly Appleway RV. Tonight, the cases against former President Trump, where things stand. Plus, Russian missiles strike more civilians in Ukraine. Ukraine strikes back. As the war escalates, more Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. This Friday through Monday only, it's the anniversary four-day super sale at Furniture Row. And that means the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Find deep discounts on every sofa, dining table, and bed. Like the Mainstay Sofa, now only $6.99. The Martin Dining Group, only $3.99. The Glenwood Queen Bed, just $7.99. And the Queen Size Summit, now only $2.99.99. Plus, six years, no interest. But hurry, the anniversary four-day super sale at Furniture Row ends Monday. Astapro Allergy, steroid-free allergy relief that starts working in 30 minutes while other allergy sprays take hours. With Astapro's unbeatably fast allergy relief, you can Astapro and go. The Beach Boys, a demolition derby, the PRCA Rodeo. Apple Valley News Now welcomes Walla Walla Fair and Frontier Days, August 30th through September 3rd. Enter to win fair and rodeo tickets, plus more on the contest page at applevalleynewsnow.com. KFC's Wednesday Country Fried Steak Meal is a delicious value, complete with mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a biscuit, all for the incredible price of just $5.99. Really, what's left to say? How about see you again next Wednesday? Country Fried Steak Meal, just $5.99, only at KFC. 19 states, including Washington and Oregon, are weighing in on a battle over an anti-abortion law in Idaho. Now, it is illegal to block travel between the states, but Idaho lawmakers made it illegal to transport a child or teenager to the state line if they're trying to get an abortion. Now, there's already a lawsuit in U.S. District Court to block that law. Washington and a coalition of other states have filed legal arguments supporting that lawsuit. Bankrate says that Washington state is at the bottom of the list of best places to retire. So analysts looked at things like affordability, quality and cost of health care, weather, crime and overall well-being. Their number one state for retirement, Iowa. While the weather scores were on the lower side, Iowa was ranked among the most affordable 
with some of the most affordable health care and relatively low crime. So the top five states on the list were Iowa, Delaware, West Virginia, Missouri, and Mississippi. Although I have to point out Mississippi had terrible health care scores, but it was considered very affordable. Bankrate says the worst places to retire are Massachusetts, Washington, California, New York, and Alaska. Now, all of them scored low on the affordability scale, although Washington did have the second best health care score right after Colorado. Now, we're talking about your forecast. Beautiful summer weather right now. That's when we come back. Ken's still ahead. Former President Donald Trump now formally facing charges related to what happened on January 6th of 2021. World News Tonight is tracking that coming up at 5.30. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $2,250 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Bruce Heating and Air. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book arriving in members' mailboxes this week. It's 20 pages of great storewide savings, including everything you need for your Northwest lifestyle. At Bymart, our members save more every day. Next live, Taylor Lautner and his wife, Taylor Lautner. Okay, what now? <laughs> double the Taylors, double the fun. Definitely excited. Yes, double excited. Tomorrow at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. Watch me. Watch me grapple, move, and pin. When I hit the mat, don't underestimate the grin. I've got state championships and medals to show, but it's about more than just winning. This you should know. Overcoming odds through therapy and care. The road was long, now opponents beware. Watch me. Game-changing sports medicine at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let life's challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. This is not just laundry. This is laundry that's one and done. This is the ultra-fast combo laundry machine that does both washing and drying cycles. This is revolutionizing laundry. This is GE Profile. Fred's has the GE Profile one and done laundry machine in stock and on sale for only $24.99. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. Welcome back. It is National Night Out, and that is where we find Apple Valley News Now's Stacey Lee. Stacey, I'm hearing the sound in the background. It sounds like a lot of fun out there. That's right, Alyssa. We are live at uh, Howard Amon Park, National Night Out, and it is gorgeous this evening. A little warm, but things are going to start cooling down as the sun goes down. This event goes all the way till 7.30 tonight. Let's take a look at that seven-day planning forecast, and we're definitely in the heat of things it is definitely summer as you can tell we made it into august temperatures aren't too bad we are going to have those that hot day tomorrow and then we stay pretty average in the 90s through the weekend and the only big story is possible thunderstorms mainly in the blues and the wallawas that that's on thursday friday and saturday a very slight chance of that 
Looks like we're going to stay dry, though, in Yakima and Tri-Cities for the next several days. And again, look for those breezy winds in Yakima. Again, lots of kids and families down here tonight. Again, National Night Out. It's right here at Howard Amon Park till 7.30 tonight. Perfect night to bring the family out. I'm Stacey Lee, broadcasting live for Apple Valley News now. And hey, the haze out there tonight shouldn't stop you from seeing the moon. It's going to be bigger and brighter than usual. We're kicking off the month with a super moon, which is at its closest point to the Earth and it's full tonight. It's actually the first of two that are going to happen this month. Second one is coming up at the end of the month. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tonight at six.